Okay, so continuing from where we left off, in this video, we will get started on the uh, view component. So inside resources, assets, JS, YouTube, let's create a folder called playlist. And in that, I'll have our first component, which is playlist wrapper. Okay we will be including it inside video detail so why don't we come over here import um where is this okay no so this is inside playlist and then wrapper and i'll just mention it okay so video detail now knows this component and um, where do we put it one thing which I've seen is my video is getting loaded after the description which is looking a little weird I'll put it somewhere here um, margin bottom three three pixels and then maybe um, the Okay, playlist wrapper. Is my node watch running? Yes, it is. So let's see what's you know with the application right now. Um, okay, fail to mount, which means it's coming here. That's fine. Now we are ready with that. Export default. Hit refresh. Okay, so you know things are getting properly laid out. So I guess you know we are um, in good shape. Let's quickly get the markup, and then I will explain you um, you know what I'm trying to do. Okay. <clears throat> so I have the markup ready. I'll just quickly go over it. So first we have a button. I haven't added any behavior right now. I'll do that uh, with you. So I have a button, and then there is a list where I have divided into um, my playlist and close button okay and then I'm printing out the list and this is a small form which you know, allows me to add that playlist item and if I hit refresh you know this is what I'll get hmm. although I wanted the um thing to be here okay that's you know something which i need to add a bit a little bit of css um but for now let's first look at the behavior of these things so first things first i'll need to ensure that you know only on the click of this button should i see everything okay so click i'll call a function let's say playlist open okay let's quickly add that now what do we want to do in playlist open we are going to say uh, this dot load um, user playlists okay Mm. okay so we will call this function we will uh, I'm, I always try to keep you know the Ajax call a bit different you know, in a different function from you know the actual handler because I may need to you know load this data sometime again you know and that's why I want to keep this handy okay so we already have our um, you know, API ready so I can just do axios get api slash user playlists uh, then i'll get the response and now what i will do is you know it's a local machine i will get the data very quickly but actually in real life um, the data will take a little bit of time and you know my idea is to have 
a little bit of animation in there so for now let's just simulate a timeout okay in timeout let's keep it a very small timeout not you know a big one so that you know the user feels that it is slow okay so what is going to happen is the first thing i'm going to say this playlist equals response dot data which will mean i need data return null okay um I'm keeping this you know so that um, when the you know, I'll go through the iteration so this is the variable where you know the, the Ajax data will be placed and you know we will get the playlist entries um, the next thing is you know I would like to control the visibility of the entire list wrapper based on a flag okay so why don't we say something like v if show playlist okay this is a flag and what i will do is in here by default my show playlist should be false okay so now okay by the way and you know, when we get the data this dot show playlist will be true okay or rather why don't we do one thing is equal to not this so it will just toggle now if we hit refresh okay click on it what happened we have some error um, oh okay just need to run the migration <coughs> hit refresh okay clear it out i think we should get the console yeah okay so the data is coming although what i'm doing is i'm not you know getting the data here because we don't have any data right now but as you can see i have already made some progress where the the playlist component is only visible when i'm loading the data through ajax okay so i think you know for us to ensure that we can you know have some data let's quickly go to tinker and why don't we create a few things so what is my user id this is the personal account right so personal is user id 2 so why don't we create a few playlists okay what all data do we need i need a name best of english oops uh, i'll say is private what's happening is not one and user id is two so i have one playlist here and so I have two playlists they are in the database should be hmm. yeah these are the two playlists and from now on when we do the regex load we will see the data i think i haven't consoled it uh, um, console dot info response dot data okay just to show you that you know what the, what kind of data is coming so i have this playlist data i have name all right so we are all set to go over here and what i can say is v4 um, item in 
playlist okay um, item dot name and again it's doing an indexing okay we bind key I can do item dot ID I know that's a that's a unique thing so yeah let's see what we are coming up with all right so this is done the two playlists are coming up they are sorted by their name and yeah I think you know we have progressed quite far you know in the next video let's handle this you know creation part of it thanks for watching guys if you like the videos do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel